Okay, I know it's been a little while. I'm sorry. I had to go out of town and there's some other stuff with my job, but I'm back and I'm gonna do this eye tutorial finally. It also doesn't help that I am a terrible procrastinator, but I have some time today, so I am going to record this for you guys. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how to make the mask transition for our eye effect before we actually create the effect with our different merges because this is also very important. So let's call this 2A. By the end you should have something like that. Now the basic rundown before I do a node by node is you're gonna add in an ellipse mask, you're gonna duplicate that ellipse mask, set it to subtract in the paint mode, and then have it get softer and then start shrinking so that you have just a smooth transition. Then you're gonna duplicate that down here and it's going to do the exact same thing. It just won't get softer. And then you're going to take another one that does get softer. It's probably going to have to get softer than this one. And it's also going to shrink. So you're going to duplicate this one again and make it get soft. Then using a mat control, you're going to set it to subtract, combine alpha subtract in the mat control so that you have this. And we're going to plug this mask into a noise so that we have this noise effect. And the noise is seething. I have a seethe rate of 0.5 on mine. You can play with that to get whatever you want. But it gives me that. I plug that into a bitmap to make it into a maskable image so that I can use it as a mask. And then I plug both of these, both this transition and this transi transition, into the mat control and add in some blur with this mat control. And that is the basic gist of how you get this effect. Now you could have two noise nodes and two, like from here on you could duplicate it and change the noise node to get two separate effects. I'm just going to use this mask and rotate it like 35 or 29 degrees, some odd number so that people can't, won't look at the eyes and go, oh that's just the mask flipped. They probably wouldn't anyway, but it'll just introduce some variation and it'll be really easy. So now I'm going to do a node by node, but if you don't need the node by node, go to the next video if it's uploaded, or go watch one of my other videos, because it might take a minute before the next video is up. Who knows? I'm the worst at this. I'm trying to make a schedule and stick to it, but that, as it turns out, it's really hard. So. On to the next part of the video. I'm rambling. So now let's get cracking and create our mask. I'm going to move this out of the way right quick. Add a new ellipse in there. And I'm going to name this one. Hey, ellipse 2 is fine. Let's view it. Yep, that's good. That's all we need for that one. Control C, Control V. And we're going to set this one to subtract view that over there. And we want to animate this one's width and height by right clicking and hit, hitting animate as always. And at frame 80 we want them to be 0. So from frame 0 to 80 we have this transition. Alright. And then I'm going to control C control V that one. I'm going to actually add in some soft edges on this one too. Right, like frame 20. I want the edges to be and eh, before frame 20. Let's just turn up the soft edges. By frame 10. Okay. So there we go. We have our soft edges. And then with this one, we're going to duplicate it. Shift, click, and drag, bring it down there, add in a matte control. Plug it in there, plug it in there. And the order of these is very important. Keep that in mind, because we're going to add soft edges to this one. We're going to view the matte control, and we're going to combine alpha, subtract. And I did the order wrong. Perfect. There we go. That's what we want. 
Now what the subtract node does is it takes what's different and removes everything that's the same. So the things that are the same between these two will be the center and what's different is this is not 100% opaque. Over here it is 100% opaque so it's going to get rid of this one and replace it with this one and it's going to get rid of everything in the middle. Understand? It's kind of confusing. And also we want this mask to be a bit harder so I'm going to turn up the expand and the gamma and we can control how big that is with the soft edges of the top one. Okay. We also want to animate these soft edges so that they are zero at frame zero. And by frame 25, let's turn them up. See how that looks? And 25 is a little bit too late. Let's do frame 15. Let's come over to the timeline. The ellipse have selected the selected button turned on, it helps quite a bit. Just click and drag that one over there. And there we go. I'm going to group those and open up the group just for organization's sake. And then I'm going to add in my noise. And you want to use fast noise, but we want to use the macro or this fast noise, not fast to focus this fast noise down here. Not 3FN, that's for the 3D renderer that we're not using today. Just normal, plain old fast noise. Then we're going to plug the mask from that in there. Let's take a look at that. And as you can see, the fast noise is way too big. Or way too, yeah, way too big. So we're going to have to make it smaller by scaling it up. I'm going to turn up the detail and the contrast, turn down the brightness. So that now we have this, which looks pretty good. But to add in a little variation, let's turn the seed rate up to 0.5. So that now we have that. Actually, I don't know if I want that much detail. Yeah, it looks all right. You can play with these settings to get an effect that you like. Then I'm going to deselect everything and add in a bitmap node. And I'm going to plug the input of our bitmap into the noise. So that now we have this. Now this is a maskable image. You can use this bitmap as a mask for other things. And since it's maskable, we can add in another mac control node and combine these two masks. We're going to combine alpha again, but this time we're going to set it to add. And with this bitmap, I'm going to turn up the soft edges to help it blur or blend into our other mask. And then over here, I'm going to add some blur to the whole thing to help it blend into our eye when we composite it later. We can always adjust these settings after the fact. And so there you go. You have your crazy rough eye effect that will transition from your normal eye into your new blind eye. And actually, that noise is a little bit too too big for me, or a little bit too much, so I can play the scale there. Nah, yeah, look pretty good. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select all of these, go over to spline, hit Control F to frame all of these, and select all of these points. And then I'm going to hit smooth. That just adds in a little smoothness to the animations to make it look a bit better. All right, and there you go. You have your blind eye transition. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try I'm going to try for Saturday. Uploads on Saturdays. I might have to do every other Saturday because it does take a lot of planning to do these videos where I'm learning how to do some stuff. I do have some ideas for some videos after this eye tutorial, but I'm going to get this one out of the way. So hopefully Saturdays. Look for Saturdays. And until next time, go make something awesome. I'll see you guys then.